Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss some easy but great Arduino projects. Without further ado, let's start with number 12. First, we have a simple MIDI controller made by Takumi. He used an accelerometer for this purpose. The coordinates taken from this sensor are fed into Max, a data flow programming language that converts these values into sound waves. As a result, musical notes can be generated by moving the sensor in different directions. To enhance control and refine the musical notes, Takumi added a half sphere beneath the breadboard for smoother movement. Number 11. The Circuit Digest team created a motor driver circuit to control the speed of a DC motor. This circuit uses a MOSFET, a potentiometer, some resistors, and connecting wires. By adjusting the voltage at the MOSFET's gate terminal, the current at its output terminals varies, thereby controlling the motor's speed. A potentiometer is connected to the A0 pin of the Arduino, while the gate terminal is connected to the PWM pin of the Arduino. This setup effectively controls the speed of the DC motor. Number 10. Gas leakage can pose serious hazards if it goes unnoticed, but a simple Arduino project can help address this issue. Use an MQ6 gas sensor and connect it to an Arduino to detect gas levels in the environment. To receive alerts on your phone, attach a GSM module to the Arduino as shown in this circuit. This setup enables you to take appropriate action, even if you're far from home. Number nine. Speaking of home security, here's another simple project you can try. An RFID tag based door lock this prototype will help you understand how modern door locks work. The door opens only when a registered tag is scanned, and it raises an alarm if an unauthorized card is scanned. The door remains unlocked for only 10 seconds before closing automatically. The complete project is assembled on a breadboard, and this circuit will help you to connect these components easily. Number eight. The problem with most soil moisture sensors is that they tend to give nonlinear readings and have a short lifespan. Instead, you can use this industrial grade soil moisture sensor. It operates on five volts and to interface it with Arduino, you will need a transceiver module like this one. Connect the remaining components according to this circuit diagram. Once the sensor is inserted into the soil, the temperature and moisture readings will start displaying on the OLED display. Number seven, while it's convenient to use keyboard keys to control the media volume on your laptop, Controlling it with a stepper motor is much cooler. By sliding the gears, you can adjust the volume with greater precision. Using these components, Kushagra created a simple rotary encoder circuit to control the motor. Once he assembled the circuit, he connected his board to the Arduino and his DIY volume controller was ready for action. Altium 365 is a powerful PCB design platform that makes it easy to share your design files with your team. Team members can view, edit, and comment on the designs in real time. Suppose you need input from your software engineer. They will receive a notification and can view the design to take the necessary actions. They also have easy access to data sheets and other materials for additional information. This simplifies the design process and improves your team's workflow efficiency. Check the video description for more details. Number six. Using a pyranometer sensor, you can measure solar radiation effectively. To interface the sensor with an Arduino, you'll need a MAX485 module, which converts the sensor's data into a format that the Arduino can read. This setup allows you to measure the intensity of solar radiation accurately. The measured solar radiation is then displayed on a 16 cross 2 LCD screen, providing a clear and real-time readout. All the components can be connected according to the provided circuit diagram. Number five, if your friend's birthday is coming up, you can surprise them with this cute little project that plays a birthday melody. Max designed this project on a breadboard, keeping it as small as possible. He used some passive buzzers, LEDs, and resistors. By powering the Arduino through a USB cable, the music player is ready but to make it portable, you can attach a tiny LiPo battery along with its charging circuit, as Max did. This can be a bit complicated if you're not good at soldering, but if you love challenges, this project can teach you many things. 
Number four. Next, we have a DIY breathalyzer. Most of you might know what it is, but for those who don't, it checks the alcohol concentration in your breath. You simply blow into it, and if the alcohol level exceeds the permissible limit, a buzzer sounds. To make this, connect an MQ3 gas sensor to the A0 pin of the Arduino and a buzzer to the D7 pin. An LED can also be connected as shown in the circuit. The Coder Cafe team created a more compact version of this project using an AT Tiny 85 microcontroller, which you can check out and follow to build your own. Number three. There are various types of LEDs with different characteristics available on the market, and they require a series resistor when connected in a circuit. Mirko created a device that displays the LED characteristics and calculates the value of the series resistor based on the input voltage and the current flowing through the LED. The device has four push buttons to adjust these parameters, and the resistor value changes accordingly. It also provides the resistor code next to the resistor value. Number two, Mirko created a holographic matrix clock using a real-time clock module, an LED matrix, some push buttons, and an Arduino Nano. By attaching a phone instead of the LED matrix, this device can also display 3D animations. To make an efficient hologram, take care of the following things. First, you need to find the perfect angle and distance between the light source and the screen. Next, ensure all sides of the device are covered with a black surface to prevent light reflection. Finally, check the ambient lighting and the source light brightness, as it also influences the projected image. Number one. Finally, here's a super cool project to try. A battery voltage monitor circuit made by Edison. It uses a battery holder, some resistors, and a microcontroller. He also added a charging module to protect the battery in his setup. The circuit monitors the remaining battery voltage and uploads this data to the cloud. While Edison used a Node MCU to send the data to the Arduino cloud, you can use an Arduino and connect an LCD to display the battery percentage. If you're looking to start your IoT journey, this project is a great way to learn many things. So, we hope you love these project ideas. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. We will see you in the next video. Till then, Goodbye.